Over the past few decades, we've had one simple mission, which is to make our environment as safe as possible. All eyes are on the car industry, especially on hydrogen-powered cars. But how would the implementation of hydrogen cars impact the environment? Well, let's find out. What is so special about hydrogen that the media are pinning their hopes on it to solve many of the world's fuel and environmental problems? First, there's a general expectation that hydrogen can reduce our increasing dependence on oil and natural gas, which so far have been imported from politically uncertain areas. However, entering into the hydrogen economy, we must realize all the positive and negative aspects related to the global replacement of fossil fuels by hydrogen. Dihydrogen H2, commonly named hydrogen, is increasingly recognized as a clean and reliable energy vector for decarbonization and fossilization by various sectors. The global hydrogen demand was projected to increase from 70 million tons in 2019 to 120 million tons by 2024. Hydrogen development should also meet the seventh goal of affordable and clean energy of the United States. Here, we review hydrogen production and analysis of hydrogen-powered cars. Hydrogen-powered cars have seen magnificent potential to create a safer environment. But what exactly is their environmental impact? And how do they stack up against traditional vehicles? To understand the environmental impact of hydrogen cars, we must first look into their production process. Unlike conventional vehicles that depend on fossil fuels, hydrogen cars utilize fuel cells that generate electricity through a chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen. While the production of hydrogen does require energy, advancements in renewable sources such as wind and solar power are making the process increasingly sustainable. To start with, one of the most compelling aspects of hydrogen cars is their zero-emission operation. Instead of emitting harmful pollutants like carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxides, hydrogen cars emit only water vapor, making it the best environmental impact for the future. This not only improves air quality, but also lessens the contribution to global warming and gas pollution, making them a promising solution for battling climate change. Hydrogen cars have the potential to revolutionize the transportation sector by offering a clean and sustainable alternative to traditional vehicles. Hydrogen as a substance is a low-density gas that needs to be compressed or liquefied for easy transportation and storage, which requires energy and can result in emissions depending on what hydrogen is used. Beyond the environmental benefits that give hydrogen cars an advantage over the standard fossil fuel ones, another interesting fact is the amount of refueling and just the fast refueling. During road trips, they provide a familiar driving experience without the range anxiety often associated with electric vehicles. You can say what you want, Tesla drivers, but we know that the struggle is real sometimes. Additionally, their quiet operation contributes to a quieter and more peaceful urban environment. Despite their potential, hydrogen cars still face challenges on the road to widespread adoption. Limited infrastructure remains a significant hurdle, with a sparse network of hydrogen refueling stations compared to the extensive network of traditional gas stations. Furthermore, the high production costs associated with fuel cell technology present another barrier to mass market appeal. This means that everyone thinks that these vehicles are expensive compared to regular ones. But remember, it's just a matter of time before car companies incorporate even more hydrogen-powered vehicles. With this, it's safe to say that we will see a decrease in their price. This is especially important for large-scale energy users, especially in heavier industrial sectors, to signal a stronger demand for green hydrogen. Developing new business models will be necessary to drive investment in this fledgling market. In the long run, standardized contracting practices will also make it easier for more energy users to buy green hydrogen. With all the bright ideas that we have first, we have to look into the process that's making all the hydrogen cars so interesting. The specific aim is to maximize the eco-friendly process called green hydrogen. Green hydrogen is produced using renewable energy, typically through a process called electrolysis, which splits water into hydrogen and oxygen using wind or solar power. This method generates hydrogen without emitting greenhouse gases, making it the best option to create hydrogen. 
Gray hydrogen, on the other hand, is produced from natural gas using a process called steam methane reforming. This process generates hydrogen and carbon dioxide as byproducts, which are released into the atmosphere, contributing to greenhouse gas emissions. Greenhouse gas emissions, like any combustion reaction that heats air to high temperatures, create harmful pollutants called nitrogen oxides. These are linked to smog, acid rain, and damaging health impacts such as asthma and respiratory infections. However, technologies like carbon capture and storage can help reduce its environmental impact by capturing and storing the carbon dioxide produced during its production. Blue hydrogen, similar to gray hydrogen, is produced from natural gas using steam methane reforming. However, what sets it apart is the use of carbon capture and storage technology to capture and store the carbon dioxide emissions produced during its production. In blue hydrogen production, carbon dioxide is captured before release and can be stored underground or repurposed, preventing it from contributing to greenhouse gas emissions. As we consider hydrogen's environmental impact, it's important to recognize its evolving role in our energy landscape. While blue hydrogen still relies on fossil fuels and produces carbon dioxide, its integration with carbon capture technology represents a significant step towards reducing its environmental footprint. This transition approach becomes crucial as renewable energy sources continue to grow. Understanding hydrogen's entire life cycle is essential to grasp its true ecological implications so we can have a more environmentally friendly ecosystem. We set out to assess the current science in a paper and find that under the right circumstances, hydrogen could indeed be part of a clean energy transition, but done wrong, it could be worse for the near-term climate than the fossil fuels it would replace. While carbon dioxide can be a byproduct of hydrogen production, hydrogen itself emits no carbon dioxide when burned or used in a fuel cell. But when emitted into the atmosphere, hydrogen contributes to climate change by increasing the amounts of other greenhouse gases such as methane, ozone, and water vapor, resulting in indirect warming. That's a problem because hydrogen's small molecule is difficult to contain. It's known to easily leak into the atmosphere throughout the value chain. The farther it travels between production and end use, the greater the potential for leakage. That much is well understood, but it turns out we know very little about how much hydrogen actually escapes from real-world systems. It hasn't been clear because there has been no reason to look beyond basic safety thresholds until now. This is because traditional metrics systematically ignore the near-term impact of hydrogen and other short-lived climate-forcing agents by expressing the warming effects from a one-time pulse of emissions over a 100-year time frame, masking a much bigger, more immediate influence. There is another reason the warming effects of hydrogen have been underestimated. Until recently, every estimate of hydrogen's climate-forcing power considered only the troposphere and not effects in the stratosphere. Accounting for both reveals that hydrogen has greater warming potential than is typically recognized. So basically, if done right, we can avoid most of these disadvantages. On the other hand, the advantages of hydrogen fuel cells as one of the best renewable energy sources are evident. However, it would take a couple of years to overcome and realize the full potential of hydrogen as a key enabler for a future decarbonized energy system. On the positive side, hydrogen fuel cells could offer a fully renewable and clean power source that none of the current ignition cars could ever achieve for a healthy environment and a greater future for us all. In summary, hydrogen cars have the biggest potential to make something new in our world, it just needs to be used correctly. Thank you for joining us on this thrilling exploration of the environmental impact of hydrogen cars and hydrogen in general. Tell us what process got your attention, drop a comment below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights into the future of clean energy and automotive technology. Until next time, let's continue pushing the boundaries of innovation and sustainability.